My name is Alan Craft, and I've been working on a mod with my new friend Joven that adds six craftable button items and some commands that are intended to enhance community gameplay. The first thing you'll notice when you log in is this pink text that says you have a login bonus available, use slash login bonus or click this to accept. I'm going to click it. This pulls from two loot tables, one from ores and one for food. They give you a random amount of each item and are intended to help new players get started and incentivize people to keep logging in. There's also a slash gift command where if you select an item in your main hand slot, and you type slash gift, send, and a player name, it sends that item to them and a pink chat shows up in their chat box that says, click this to accept or use slash gift accept. And if I click it, it drops those items near me. This works from any distance so you can help send people things that they might need or whatever they're asking for from your base without having to walk 4,000 blocks over to their base. You just slash gift send and they get your items. All right. Now let's talk about the buttons. The first thing you're gonna to need to do to craft any of these buttons is to make the basic button. This is with three iron ingots, a redstone dust, and an own oak plank. This button has no effects. It's just the basic button to apply effects to. You right click it, makes a little noise, has a cooldown, and that's about it. But it's required to craft all the other buttons. Next is the spawn button. This is crafted with a compass and a basic button. You pretty much just click this and it sends you to server spawn. Wherever you go, doesn't matter where, how far away it is, you press it, it teleports you to spawn. Crafting a basic button and a compass shouldn't be too hard. You should be able to do that within like the first 10, 20 minutes of joining a server. The button isn't consumed and pretty much you can just keep it on you and anytime you wanna to go to spawn or meet up with friends without having to travel to each other's bases, you can all just teleport yourself to spawn and uh, adventure from there. Next button is the home button, which is crafted with a basic button and a bed. This one is like the server button, but instead of teleporting you to world spawn, teleports you to your bed. So again, anywhere you go, doesn't matter what you're what you're doing, you press that, it takes you to your bed. There's a bit of a slight cooldown on it, so you're not just spamming it, but this should help quite a bit for people who like to build bases far away. You can press the spawn button to go to spawn and meet up with people, and then press the home button to go all the way back to your base that's 10,000 blocks away from spawn without having to spend half an hour traveling. It should also help for those of you who want hidden bases because now you don't even need to have entrances to your base. You can have a little box underground at bedrock that you just press and it sends you home and you'll never have to worry about invaders again it'll be awesome nobody's gonna steal your stuff if they can't find it because you don't ever walk there right next is the community effect button you craft this using a golden apple and a basic button and when you right click this it gets consumed and it gives everybody online a random positive effect for a minute and a half you'll all have different effects and they draw from beacon effects so whatever effects you can get from beacon you kind of just can press these and get a whole bunch of them. Now I have all six maxed beacon effects. They're not that expensive. Golden apples aren't too hard to come by, but they should promote a little uh, group adventuring by incentivizing you to buff each other when you go out and do things. Next is the troll effect button. This is crafted with a gas tier, just cause you know, I just figured troll tiers is kind of funny. And when you right click this one, it gives everybody online a random negative effect for 15 seconds or less. Oh, <laughs> there we go. 15 seconds of levitation. I can click it again. I just got wither for two seconds, but you can see all the negative effects up on the top. They don't last super long. So yeah, if you load this up on your server, uh, expect to have a little bit of some community trolling and uh, hopefully that uh, doesn't get out of hand. Next we have the lucky button. And if you're familiar with the lucky block idea, it's based on that. This is crafted with a basic button and a diamond. You right click this one, it is consumed and random positive or negative effects happen. That is an invisible baby zombie with speed. There's a villager, which, you know, unfortunate timing. <laughs> um, this one teleports you 200 blocks above spawn. <laughs> uh, that resets your login bonus. You can claim it again. Here's uh, just pulling from a loot table of ores, which is very nice. Uh, I got teleported above spawn again. Um, <laughs> We'll use a couple more of these just for fun, but you know, I'm not gonna get into the details of every single thing that can possibly happen. Oh, yep, there's an explosion. A lightning strike. So yeah, use this at your own risk, because things get a little crazy if you spam it. Ooh, yep. There we go. Oh, we blew up the whole display, LOL. Oh well. We've added a seventh button, which only should work if you're using the Allencraft SMP version of the mod. 
This is the Troll Allen button. We've made it a little more expensive. It's still not too bad, but you craft it by combining a Troll Effect button, an Effect button, and a Lucky button all in one, and it gives the Troll Allen button, um, which this is set specifically to target my Minecraft username, which is AllenCraftYT. It should not affect anyone else. And if you click it and I am not specifically on your server or your world, it shouldn't work. This one, basically, you right click it, and anybody who right clicks it uses a lucky button on me on my behalf. So the lightning strike, the teleport over spawn, anybody online on my Allencraft SMP can right click this button and can either troll me or help me out. Um, so yeah, here's to hoping that I don't get trolled like a thousand times every time I log onto my server, but it might happen. You never know. And I hope you guys have fun with this one. I think it's pretty cool. This is available on CurseForge at the link in my description. Uh, go have fun. Spam community buttons. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die so much on my server, aren't I? <laughs> okay, bye.